Searching was shockingly great. It's going to be remembered years from now, not only as breaking the mold, but setting the standard for a genre. Much like how the Blair Witch Project set the standard for found footage movies, so too is Searching setting the standard for this whole internet movie genre. For those of you unaware, Searching is told solely from the perspective of computer screens, as a father searches for his missing daughter. While Unfriended used the internet as a gimmick to make a quick buck, Searching builds upon this premise to show us how we interact with and how we're shaped by modern technology. The father is competent and he uses the tools at his disposal like anyone else would. They script and to make him act like an idiot to create tension. Come to think of it, I can't say there are any real dummies in this movie. The characters use sites and services we interact with on a daily basis to figure out and manipulate the world around them in natural and realistic ways. The movie also touched on social media and how the web can bring out the worst in people. Like yeah, if this movie did actually happen, the father would be called a terrible dad and memes about him would be created. The movie also shows how the internet can be used as a form of escapism. The daughter, seeking companionship, goes on a streaming website to chat with complete strangers. People can be so lonely in their actual lives that their only source of community is the internet. The writing was genuinely great. It took the audience on a roller coaster with twists and turns that even shocked me. It's great to see that in this age of franchises and Hollywood elitism, there are still writers out there who respect their audience and try to deliver interesting and thought-provoking stories. The writers brilliantly incorporated technology to tell a mystery story for the modern age. The characters and their motives are relatable and even small supporting characters feel like actual people. Speaking of characters, all the actors were great. All the performances felt natural and convincing. Even the teenagers felt like actual teens and not 20-somethings pretending to be in high school. I'm also kind of happy they didn't play up the fact that some of the main characters are Asian. Like, I know in this political climate, it's easy to play the If you don't like this movie, then you're a racist card. But beyond a few scenes, the fact that the family was Asian played little part in their identities. All these aspects of the film develop some pretty thought-provoking ideas. How well do we know our friends and family? Do our relationships with these people allow us to get to know them better? Or are we blinded to who they really might be? It also tackles issues of parental love and how far we are willing to go to protect our children. I don't want to spoil anything, but let's just say that the antagonist of the film has at least sympathetic motivations. There were a few issues I had with the movie. I felt the pacing was slow and awkward. The story felt like it had three separate endings. I also found the beginning and ending to be a little bit too cheesy. Like, I don't mind some cheese, but I felt that this kind of movie needed less of it. So yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, go see it. You will not regret it. <laughs> the Asian parents make their daughter play piano. <laughs> <laughs>